Trouble's facing this man, Richard Gonzalez, keep piling up. He's charged with organized crime and a case tied to his towing and body shop business. The state has shut him down. The city canceled his safe clear contract and he lost his position as a board member on the Five Corners Improvement District. It's a position Channel 2 Investigates has learned this convicted felon never should have been given in the first place. Investigator Amy Davis is digging into how he got that job, giving him authority over tax dollars. She discovered city council members never did a criminal background check. Sidewalks, streets, drainage, police and fire. We all pay taxes to keep the city running. But if you live or own a business in one of more than two dozen special districts or zones in our city, like Madi Banjamali, you pay an extra tax. What have you seen that you've gotten out of it as a business owner? Nothing. We have gotten nothing out of it. Medi owns Arcot Manufacturing on Houston's southeast side inside the Five Corners Improvement District created in 2011. It taxes some 1,200 businesses within its 22 square miles. Board members then use the tax dollars to improve the area. Five Corners recently spent $229,000 on private security services. Another $155,000 to replace street signs with these nicer ones bearing the Five Corners logo. This is a waste of money. First, the uh, Five Corners Improvement District. But exactly who City Council appointed to, quote, waste his money angers Marie even more. And Richard, uh, you know, we've been working on this for a while and I'm so pleased that you've decided to come on. Richard Gonzalez, the owner of the now shuttered tow company. We showed you how he allegedly scammed dozens of drivers out of thousands of dollars, reeling them in through the city's safe clear program. Council also appointed him as a board member of Five Corners in January 2014 while he was on probation for felony insurance fraud. How can someone with criminal history be allowed to make tax decisions. We asked the same question. Should someone who has insurance fraud associated with his business be on that improvement district? Well, I would think not, but you know, at the end of the day, we have rules and so as council members, we rely on our lawyers and staff. Channel 2 Investigates confirmed the only check the city of Houston makes before appointing members to these taxing boards is for delinquent taxes to make sure they've paid up. For me, what has come out of this is an opportunity as chair of the ethics committee to revamp the policy of background checks for uh, not only tax liens. We check for criminal, violent, and nonviolent uh, backgrounds before they are appointed to boards and commission. The Five Corners manager immediately removed Gonzalez from the board when we told him about his record, claiming the same law that says convicted felons can't run for public office restricts them from also acting as appointed public servants. If he is a convicted felon, then he, whether he's on probation or not, he cannot serve on the board. But Mayor Sylvester Turner is asking the city attorney about that interpretation of the statute, if it would extend to appointed board members. He said he will consider doing criminal background checks on appointees after he hears what the attorney has to say. We'll follow up and let you know what they decide for more than 1,500 appointees, many that have a hand in how our tax dollars are spent. I'm consumer expert Amy Davis, KPRC Channel 2 News.